Hello and welcome to Harlelicious Cat Cam Corner. So, SolarWorks 2020 just got released, the first uh, SP00, I think it's called. And I was all excited about the new uh, function structure system. I wanted to try it out and um, I run into a little bit of a snag. And I called Bar. They didn't even know how to solve it, so I sat up last night, tried to figure out how to solve it. And the problem was, like, I, this is a tutorial from their uh, SolidWorks website. I downloaded it. It's for Weldment Structure System. Uh, so I started, followed the tutorial. It's supposed to get into the system, choose your primary member, and um, Choose the points, and then you do it here, for example, and uh, you say how long they're supposed to be. The picture said 3500, so I just do the same. Then we go to the profiles, and this is all my old profiles, right? I customize them and everything, put them where I want them, and I know they work in the normal Weldment structure profile system. So I go to my customs, right? And there's only one, these two. So I feel what's wrong. So I went to my plywood, nothing. Nothing seems to work of my old system. I'm like, what? So, okay. I figure there might be something wrong with the file locations. So I went in there. File locations, and I added all just to find it. I was thinking, okay, structure system, right? Structure system, undefined. I figure, oh, wait. Oh, well. That explains it. So I figured I'd just. I'll just direct it to my custom weldments, right? Already did all the work. Why don't use them? Choose it. You can see it's coming up. And I save it. And I press OK. So now I'm thinking, well, everything should be hunky dory, right? So let's redo it. Because that's what the tutorial said, and then we'll go to the profiles. Go to my custom. Nothing. Again, I have more than config, that's why I'm so sure. Okay, this is blank again. And I figure why I just added the surf path and everything. So I go back, allocations, edit all, and wham bam. Right? So it won't save it for some reason. And uh, I talked to my VAR about it, and they said that they're contacting, that they made a case about it. And I'm like, okay, good. Everything's working like they're supposed to do. So but here's the problem. I want to practice now, right? I want to learn a little bit more about the structure system. I'm a little stoked about the new features coming out, right? I want to use them. I mean, I want to, yeah, use the functions and learn about them. So I was like, mm, okay. There was some worked for some reason, right? It's like some of these, if I go into them, like ANSI INS, INCH, they are working for some reason, right? Hmm. Okay, so what I did was, first I did this before, because I wonder where those were, since I didn't point, it wasn't pointing to anything, right? I was thinking, where, where are they coming from? So I went to my Weldman profiles. These are my own lines, so I can delete those, so they ain't working. The second ones are these. 
And how I figure out, if, first I did this, I deleted them also, I press OK. Now we're not referencing anything. Go to File Locations, Edit All. We don't have any weldment profiles, right? Nothing. But still, NC inch and ESO are still available for I don't know how or why that works. Because we don't have any paths to that place. But since that's the only thing that's working, I was started thinking, why are they working? What's so special about those profiles compared to my old profiles? And it turns out that they are configured profiles. The configured profiles, what I mean by that is, if you don't know what that is, uh, wrong, I have to add my old profile. Wait, I'll show you. Uh, file locations. So now I'm adding my old ones. So a, a, a configured profile means that th there's only one profile with multiple different sizes in one profile. That's what a configured profile means. So you see here I have only two. You can have as many as you want, right? So if I look back to the, well, they won't show here because I deleted them. But if you look back at the uh, stru uh, structure system, the, the profile that, that's working, oh, now they're gone for some reason. They won't show. OK. So we'll, we, we'll, we'll, we will, oh, wait. We will delete that again. They prop, pop up by locations. See, now the NC and ESO is back. But the thing is, when I choose this angle iron, you see this, these three different sizes are all in one profile. So, if you want to, if you have this problem like I'm having, and still you want to use, uh, you want to practice your structure system, the solution is that you need to get your configured profiles in there. And the good part is that you can add um, like I, I just did a uh, new folder, put it on my desktop. Uh, I'm just going to show you. So see, there's like I have four different sizes in one sketch. That's what configured profile is. And how to add them? It's simple. You right click on the configured dimensions. And you see here. Now, when this comes up, it looks like, hey, we're missing loads of dimensions. Yes, it is. Don't worry. Double click what you want to pick it. Because you might not want to change these, right? Then, I don't know if... Uh, delete. Yeah, so you can delete them, right? If you if this one, you want these to stay the same, but you want to have it maybe change these and these, right? So then you just change the dimension to whatever you want. I hit apply. You can also do a uh, re-elective configuration, then you can press OK. I'm going to cancel because I don't need to do it. So then what I did, now that I figured out, uh, I went in here, file locations, on the profiles, add, now I'm only adding to whatever you, I have it on my desktop, right? I'm adding structure system. Yeah. 
you see there's my profiles so that's the workaround how you get around it until uh, SolidWorks decide to fix the original pathway so what's different about the structure systems profiles from Wellman profiles is that the if I have understood it correctly, it's only the configured profile that works with structure system. That also means that when you make your new path thingy, you have to have the first your reference is this one. When you put in the file locations, you chose this one. That means that the SolidWorks will read this file this pathway, but it won't read the first folder. The second folder that it reads is this one. Then you have to have the, uh, this one in it. Because if I take this away, I'll just show you. So you don't get... So and here's where you can have more folders then. I can just add just to show you. Very original. Battlefield, Bad Company 2. <laughs> no, well, so this is the new folder. And just, we can just put in the bad, uh, like, copy, just to show you. Copy. Paste. So, now we have a, a new folder and everything. Uh, we have to get out from here. Now you, you see the uh, extra folder there, right? So, that's the workaround that I've found so far. Uh, so, if someone else gets stuck on the same problem, there you go. You need to have configured profiles. For me, I'm thinking, that means all the custom profiles that I've made, they're useless. I don't understand why they chose to do it like that, but I have to, like make all the new profiles for structure systems unless they maybe they're updating it and there's a way to download the profiles from you know the there is here though but I don't know if they're configured profiles if I can find it now I'm not really content uh, weldments right yeah, so you can download these, and let's see, let's download one just to see. Uh, you press control, left click, and then uh, we'll put it on the desktop. Oh, we can put it here, doesn't matter. So let's see if they are, I don't know if these are configured profiles, that's why I'm, but they should be, you know. Because that one is, and that one is configured profiles. So maybe that's a solution if you don't want to like start reworking everything. Extract here. So, let's see. That's the new one. Oh, that was the old one. There's the new one. No, there's nothing there, right? But it could also be because there's in there or in a different folder, right? There's one folder structure high. Yeah. So you see, it won't read these folders because they are in an extra folder. So we take these just for testing. I don't think this is going to work because I think these are these are not configured profiles but just to show you it will at least read them so now I have to close down ESI yeah now you can see they're all here right but I press them and then nothing the reason why there is blank is because they're not configured profiles. So, I hope this helps 
someone who's struggling on the same. So just remember that that's the solution for now is to make your own configured profiles and to use them until they fix it. So over and out. Have fun in the wonderful CAD CAM world. Bye-bye.